right, welcome back to Hillbilly Days. Adam Gearhart, Mr. Charlie Pinson is on the scene here. WPRG, HillbillyDays.tv. And he's got the jam right here. Oh yeah, we've been oh, yeah. we've been jamming as as Joyce likes to say. We started a, our company started making uh, locally made jams. We're making a one we got today. We're showing Adam here. It's called a uh, strawberry moonshine jelly. Actually made with uh, Poly Hollow moonshine, which is made over in Belfry, Kentucky. So trying to get some local ingredients in it as well. Heck yeah. We've got uh, other flavors. We've got a blackberry bourbon. We've got a um, mint julep. We've got a chocolate covered cherry, a blueberry cardamom. So we got several different flavors, but we like to call it fruit first, Adam. Fruit first. Fruit first, because we want you to taste the fruit before you taste the sugar. So we, we've cut the sugar back on what a lot of people do. It's still got sugar in it, but you should taste the uh, fruit first. And with the moonshine, you get a little hint of moonshine, a little bit at the back end of it. Try to give you a little bit of flavor context. Of course. We cook it so most of the uh, alcohol is cooked out, but you still get a little bit of that flavor on the back end. You want to give one of them a try? I, I do. I, pre I was waiting for you to ask. <laughs> now, Moonshine Jam right here on the airwaves. Charlie, I know you and your better half, Joyce, worked real hard on this project. We and have. I love his logo. Uh, Friends Drift In, is that, that's what's, I mean, what, well, what are you, what's the, the names of this? Friend, Friends Drift In, Joyce's grandfather and grandmother had a restaurant up on the Ohio River in a little town called Warsaw. And you could blow the boat right into the X to the to the back door of it, and they called it Friends Drift In because her maiden name was Friend. So you're hearing and, it first right here. And, and, I haven't even heard this, and I've been buddies well, since got along. Well, we, we talked about doing it, uh, you know, Pinson Farm, but you know there was already a Pinson Farm, so we decided to do this. And you know, and Joyce and her big red hat. I mean, she's she's really uh, popular in the food circus. She does a lot of recipes, cooking. Matter of fact, we're getting ready to redo our website and, and feature our jams and things on it. Have a going to have a uh, weekly. Uh, probably a blog on there and we're also going to have a, a monthly newsletter coming out so if you come by the expo we're setting up the expo today doing sampling you come out and taste it and you can also buy it and take it home but we've got several different flavors the, right now the most popular two are probably the bourbon the blackberry bourbon and the moonshine uh strawberry boy it's got a little bite yeah oh, it's no, I'm just it's, kidding. <laughs> i mean you moonshine, know you have no idea yeah but it's kind of just a little bit on the back end a little flavor I yeah like it. but you know what we the main thing is we're getting the berries out there first Thumbs you're getting up. the uh you're getting a taste of the strawberries the blueberries the blackberries and all of ours and and the other flavors are just a compliment to them Charlie Pence and the man of many hats has also uh, can fix you up with insurance needs. Yes, sir. Uh, and of course, you know him from WPRG and our radio stations, WIFX, WXLR, and WXKZ, the Intermountain Sports Network, other, in other words. Always helping us on our basketball and football games. Do a great job. I appreciate it. appreciate you for an, uh, another big year. And, and this year we uh, got to end it up in, uh, at the Sweet 16 yep. in Lexington. Absolutely. Uh, following the Pikeville Lady Panthers. Yes, so we did. did a the job. Well, thank you. Just saw Larry earlier today. Oh, did you? First time I've seen both of you since then, but um, it was nice seeing you there and wish we could have put on a little better performance. We got out of the gate slow, yeah. but uh, we still could have uh, played with that team man, and went yeah. on, and, and I felt that way about many of the teams in yeah. 16. Well, you know, I, I thought your second half was, was, was good. You just couldn't overcome that uh, first 10 minutes of the game. And speaking of the Pikeville Lady Panthers, uh, the champions of the 15th region, they're right behind us here in the booth, and they're uh, selling ice cream on this hot Thursday, day one, and uh, it's helping out um, the girls' basketball team, and it's right here That's beside our booth here on uh, the streets here in downtown Pikeville. Music's getting ready to fire up over here on the yep. Billy Johnson stage over here About at the five Expo Center, and it's going to be uh, a couple of rock bands I know of here locally that might want to get in on. Uh, Downtrend, one of them, J.D. Hall, big howdy out there, buddy. And, but nevertheless, Hillbilly Day is just a great event. It's for the children, and we're out here, uh, you know, just rubbing elbows. Really a good turnout so far yep. here, it looks like. Yep, well, the thing is, you can come out here and listen to these guys jam on the stage. You can come in and get our jam on the break. And that's what I was going to ask you. Now, you're set up in the Expo Center. We're set up Center. in the Tell lobby of the Expo Center. Going, so in the lobby, other yeah. than your booth, what, anything else? Uh, there's a uh, paranormal tour and stuff going to be. It's called the Ghost Tours. They're going to be doing ghost tours here tonight. They're set up across Josh from us. Josh, the tour guide in there on that? I, Josh is scary <laughs> enough. He don't, he don't need that ghost to help him, you know? Yeah. Uh, as we speak, the drums is uh, tuning up. But, you know, plenty going on down here, brother. And I might have 
have to get another shot of that. Absolutely. Or another spoon of that, rather. Yep. Here, we'll give you a spoon for here in a minute. Charlie Pinson, come by and see him and Joyce at the Expo Center. You'll see him around down here at the Hillbilly Days. We invite one, we invite all. Bring your family, come on down. It's happening right now. Hillbilly Days TV.